and welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Noki, and you're here once again for Noki Jr. Today, I'll be continuing my series where I have been breaking down my very favorite Pokemon from each type and each region. The three types that I'll be focusing on in this video are normal, flying, and bug type Pokemon. And my list again begins in Kanto, where first I select the normal type Pokemon, Snorlax. Snorlax! And not only am I a proud member of Team Snooze, so it would almost be sacrilegious if I didn't put this on the list, I really do enjoy Snorlax as a Pokemon, and ever since my very first days in the Pokemon franchise, I have absolutely loved this Pokemon's theme. In a generation of Pokemon where a lot of the designs are simply just the animals they're based off of, it is very refreshing for the fact that Snorlax itself is kind of a combination of a bunch of different things. And along with Pokemon like Eevee or Pikachu, actually display a very unique original design. Moving along, for the flying type Pokemon in this region, I would select Gyarados. Although I would be absolutely remiss if I did not include Pidgeot as a very close second. Gyarados, however, especially in the very first generation of Pokemon, is an absolute powerhouse. And when you take into consideration the fact that its pre-evolution Magikarp is almost completely worthless, and you have to put up with that for almost 20 levels before it will evolve into Gyarados, the work and effort that goes into having this Pokemon makes it even more worthwhile. And finally for Kanto, we have the Bug-type Pokemon, which I select Scyther. If you would have asked me as a child, Scyther probably would have been up there as one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I have always been enamored by this Pokemon's swiftness and its strength. And I can remember those jungle booster packs way back in the day with Scyther on the cover that always made me want them so badly. Moving right along into the Johto region, and again starting with the normal type, I would select another bear Pokemon, Ursaring. I genuinely always felt like Ursaring was a little underdeveloped and underutilized in the second generation of the Pokemon games. I mean, the design of this Pokemon and the overall theme are just absolutely amazing, and the fact that it's found extremely late in the games would hint to the fact that it's an extremely powerful Pokemon especially when you take into consideration the area in which it's found in, which is Mount Silver, where all the most powerful Pokemon in the Johto region reside. For the flying type Pokemon of this region, I would have to select Zatu. Zatu hasn't always been a Pokemon that gets an awful lot of love from the overall community, however I really do love the lore that surrounds this Pokemon, and I really enjoyed how they used it in the Pokemon anime. There's a certain level of mystery surrounding this Pokemon as to whether it's just extremely powerful or extremely dumb. Rounding out the list for the Johto region, we have the Bug-type Pokemon, Ariados. Ariados was the very first spider-like Pokemon, and I say spider Pokemon because in the Pokemon world, none of the Pokemon that are based off of spiders actually have eight legs. And although I haven't really always been the biggest fan of Bug-type Pokemon, Ariados has always had my respect as being such a cool Pokemon overall. Sailing onward into the Hoenn region, we begin with one of my very favorite Pokemon for the normal typings, Exploud. Exploud is one of those very strange circumstances where I really am not that big of a fan of its first and second evolution. However, when it evolves into its final form, I think it becomes absolutely amazing. And it's pretty much this Pokemon alone that makes me wish that we actually had a sound typing that would be added to the Pokemon world as it would be absolutely perfect for this Pokemon. For the flying type Pokemon of this region, I would have to select none other than Talo. And although I really do appreciate its final form of evolution in Swellow, I think Talo really has the best attributes of the entire evolutionary line. Not to mention, the Talo that Ash had in the anime is probably one of my favorite Pokemon that he ever had. I mean, how could you not love that endless determination and fighting spirit? Finishing it up for the bug typing in the Hoenn region, we have Masquerain. Masquerain is by far one of the coolest Pokemon that actually came out of the Hoenn region, and I really love its overall design and its typings. In my own opinion, it would be really cool if they gave Masquerain a Galarian evolution or maybe even a Galarian form. Next, we have the Sinnoh region, where I would select Starly as my favorite normal type Pokemon. Ever since my very first playthrough in this region, I dearly fell in love with this Pokemon and then unfortunately was a little let down when I saw its final stage of evolution. Now, don't get me wrong, the overall theme of this evolutionary line is definitely amazing, 
However, the final stage of evolution is a little underwhelming and definitely could have been done a little better. But moving along to the flying type Pokemon, we have an evolution that I think is actually really awesome, which is Honchkrow. As I always felt that Murkrow really deserved an evolution, I was very excited when I found out that they had included Honchkrow. And the theme of where they took this Pokemon's design is really clever and awesome as well. Lastly, for the Sinnoh region, we have the bug type Pokemon, Vespaqueen. And I don't know, maybe it's because I love bees in real life, but I have always been drawn to the bee type Pokemon in the Pokemon world. And my only complaint about Vespaqueen in general is that they didn't add some form of male branch evolution as well, being maybe Vespaqueen. And although I do get it since there isn't really a king in a bee Hive, I still have my hopes up for the Galar region. Stampeding now into Alola, we start with the normal type Pokemon, Bufalons. When I first laid my eyes on this Pokemon, I got so overwhelmingly excited. Finally, Tauros has an evolution. Or it doesn't. Which I'm not really exactly sure why they didn't tie Tauros somehow to this Pokemon in some way, shape, or form, but that doesn't take away from how truly awesome the design of this Pokemon is. For the flying type Pokemon of the Unova region, I would select my very favorite flying type Pokemon pretty much of all regions, which is Braviary. And maybe call it my American roots if you will, but every single time I look at this Pokemon, it just fills me with valor. And for the last Pokemon in this region, the bug type, I would select Dwebble. I mean seriously, have you ever seen a Pokemon as cute as this one? Maybe you have, but either way, I really do love this Pokemon's design of all the bug type Pokemon in this region, it's my absolute favorite. Bounding along into the Kalos region, we start off with the normal type Pokemon that I would select, Bunnelby. And although I probably love its evolution Diggersby just as much, I have a very special place in my heart for Bunnelby as it's the very first shiny Pokemon that I ever caught in the wild. And for those of you who have caught shiny Pokemon before, you know that that feeling is completely irreplaceable. For the flying type Pokemon, I have to select one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, Noivern. Noivern has such a wickedly awesome design concept. And could you imagine if this Pokemon was real, and how amazingly powerful you would feel owning it. And lastly for Kalos, we have actually the only Bug-type Pokemon that you can get from this region natively, which is Vivian. And when I was doing the research for this video, I was actually very surprised by this fact to be honest. However, it kind of is made up for the fact that Vivian has so many different forms. On now to Alola, and beginning with the normal-type Pokemon, where I select Pikipak. And this is another Pokemon where I actually really do love its entire evolutionary line. However, I feel like its first stage of evolution really hits the mark for being the overall theme that they're going for. Not only that, but this is one of the very first Pokemon that you end up catching in your journey of the Alola region, and in my games at least, always stuck with me to the very end. For the flying type Pokemon of this region, I selected one that might be a little surprising to some of you, which is Miniar. Ever since I first discovered this Pokemon, I have been absolutely captivated by its overall design, by its origins, and its possible lore. I have kind of a soft spot for some of the more mysterious aspects of the Pokemon world. And finishing up this list for the bug type Pokemon in the Alola region, I would select Rabombi. Obviously, as I stated before, I really honestly enjoy all of the Pokemon that have any form of theme that's based off of a bee. However, I really do also appreciate the fact that they gave this Pokemon a fairy typing, which kind of plays into my own personal theory that stories about fairies originally derived from early humans looking at bugs and seeing how absolutely amazing they were, and the fact that it seems like they use almost supernatural abilities to care and tend for the balance of all things. And finally today, we have the Galar region, where obviously we haven't had all of the Pokemon that have been revealed so far, so the overall selection was a little bit slim to pick from. Starting us off in the normal typing, I selected one of the most fan favorite Pokemon that has been revealed thus far, Wooloo. And as I've said before, I'm holding out for the fact that I believe that Wooloo is going to have a very interesting play in its evolutionary line. Up next for the flying type Pokemon, we have Corviknight. And obviously, Corviknight is one of the only flying type Pokemon that's been unveiled so far. However, I do genuinely love this Pokemon's design, its type combination, and the way that it's utilized in the Galar region to get people around. And I'm also very interested to see if they have some form of pre-evolution for this Pokemon. And unfortunately, they haven't unveiled any bug type Pokemon for me to add to this list, 
However, like I've said before, as soon as more of these Pokemon have been revealed, I will absolutely be making a new video that breaks down my favorites from Galar as well. What are your favorite normal flying and bug Pokemon from each region? Do you agree with any of my selections? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, please consider liking and sharing this video in order to help support this growing channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, this has been Professor Noki, signing out once again for Noki Jr.